Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about five fragrances and whether or not I'd purchase them again. The thing is, is that these fragrances, I love them all. Like I love them all. I highly recommend them all, but I'm going to let you know whether or not I'd repurchase it and why. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. So the first fragrance is... Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Now, I have talked about this all the time. I love this fragrance. This fragrance, when I smell it, it makes me feel so wistful and happy and joyful and thankful because it reminds me of being a mom and having a good mom. And I, I've talked to you guys about that before. Uh, my mom always wore lavender products, lavenders in this one. Uh, I use lavender products on my son, so I always associate it with motherhood. And I've talked about it before. I always get teary when I talk about it, but I love this fragrance. To me, it is so feminine. It is so sweet. It's so alluring. Just absolutely beautiful. Sophisticated, signature scent worthy. We all know this one. And you either love it or hate it because the lavender certainly isn't for everyone. But this was my favorite first fragrance when I started to really get into, um, when I really started to get into fragrance. So prior to when I turned 50, I always would buy one fragrance, maybe two that I'd have on the go, but never more than that. I was turning 50 and I thought to myself, I want a new signature scent because, you know, I've been wearing the same fragrances for a long time now and I wanted something new and fresh and me. So I went on the hunt for a signature fragrance. I started before I turned 50. So 49 and I was going through a major transition because I was going to my natural hair color. I was uh, dark haired for like pretty much my whole entire adult life. I had really dark hair. And so I, I was uh, transitioning to my natural color. This is my natural color. And I just wanted something that was like a new chapter. I'm like turning 50, that's exciting. Uh, it's a whole new phase of life, kinda. And so I wanted a signature scent. So I go on the hunt for one. Do you think I can find a signature scent? Not a chance. Like there was no way I could find a signature scent. And I'm like, why can't I find that one? Like, why can't I find it? And it was because I was meant to have many. Like I came to that conclusion. It's like, I can't settle on just one. It's because I really, really enjoy fragrance. And that was the beginning of my journey. And crazily enough, before this time, I was actually scared to go into the fragrance section. I know that sounds nuts, but I was so intimidated by fragrance. Like makeup, no problem. Fragrance, I was intimidated by it, like overwhelmed by it. I didn't know what I liked. I didn't know what my fragrance personality was, like nothing like that. So this fragrance was the one that I settled on for my birthday. So this is the fragrance that I got and I absolutely love it. And now that I've talked it up so much, I feel very, very guilty to say <laughs> that I wouldn't repurchase this. So I love it. It's a really wonderful memory. Maybe I would pur purchase it in the distant future. If I ran out of this, I don't think I would repurchase it anytime soon because there's so many things that I want to explore. So in order for something to be something that I really, really, really would hold on to, it's not only got to hold some sort of sentimental value to me, I think, but it also has to just be a scent that I'm not sick of or, or haven't gotten tired of or whatever. I'm not sick of it. It's not that, but I just want to try new things. This one feels like I've done it enough. So really enjoy it. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm definitely going to keep using it, but I would not repurchase this one. I feel guilty. The next fragrance is L'Interdit Rouge by Givenchy. This is such a sexy, amazing fragrance. It's got some spice in here. There's a bit of ginger. There's pimento in here. I would say the main floral that I get is the tuberose, which is kind of like you know, L'Interdit, the original, it's mainly tuberose. It's a bubblegum tuberose. 
So I mainly get tube rose in here. There's also a hint of jasmine. There's some ginger in here. I think I might have said that. So it smells slightly spicy floral. It's super uber sexy. Uh, when I first put it on in the skin, it smells intoxicating. Like it's so unbelievably good and it smells uh, like a little bit of spiciness. It's just sultry, like it's a sultry fragrance. So love, love, love the opening of this one. And as it dries down, it gets almost a little bit root beer -y on me, but a sexy root beer. So I absolutely love this fragrance. The only thing is, is that I don't wear it very often. It's like kind of a deep, dark, sexy fragrance. And I don't, I don't gravitate towards those very often. So as much as I love this, I would not repurchase it. I'd look for something different. So again, usually it's either I love it and I have to have it in my collection at all times, or I'm ready to let it go for at least a time and move on to something different. So that would be this one. Really, really enjoy it, but I'd want to explore and find something a little different because once I've used this up, like I'm glad I only have a 30 mil because I just won't go through this one very quickly. All of these fragrances I love, okay? I, 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 I feel guilty. I do. I feel guilty talking negative about them. Okay, the next fragrance is Dolce & Gabbana's Dolce Garden. It's a bit of a coconut fragrance. So there's coconut in here, frangipani, ylang ylang, there's some magnolia, a few other florals. There's orange in here and almond. So what I get primarily, I get that coconut. Uh, I definitely get the warm yellow florals and then I get the almond with a hint of orange that kind of brightens it up a little bit. It's definitely a coconut floral. It's kind of thick. There's a little bit of a waxy quality to this somehow. And I find this one slightly ethereal. So this is a fragrance that as soon as I smell it, I think about being an, on an alien tropical paradise planet where the the sky is this beautiful kind of pink color all the time color of this bottle like where the juice is that would be the color of the sky so kind of amber pink hues with little hints of turquoise and purple running through it the water is turquoise they've got really cool like unicorn dolphins <laughs> It's just a really cool planet. Like it's where you want to go. You know that movie with Bruce Willis and Mia Jovanovich or whatever her name was? That alien planet one, like the fifth element? That's the planet that they were going to was the planet that smells like this. So I just, I really enjoy this fragrance. It's quite thick. It can be almost too much at times, but I just love it. And I will always have this one in my collection. This is one that I would repurchase because it gives me that vibe of being on some sort of weird tropical paradise. Like I just have to have this. I need to smell that tropical paradise every once in a while. So this will always be in my collection. Next fragrance is Tresardi Donna. Now I've talked this one up a ton. I've worn over half the bottle, I think. Uh, which is a lot for me. So like, like I smell this and I'm just in love with it. Like it is such a great fragrance. This one has lemon and yuzu. It's got some florals in there. It's got orange blossom. I think there might be jasmine in here, but primarily you're getting florals that smell like lemon yuzu. So it'd be like if you dipped florals, white florals in lemon yuzu combination with some sweetness in there, that's what you get in this. So classy, sophisticated, fresh with that citrus uh, invigorating. Such a great fragrance. Works really, really well in the spring, summer. Gorgeous signature scent. I would not repurchase this one. And again, it's because I want to try new things. And I'm kind of like I, I wore this so much at one point that I kind of got a little bit sick of it. I still highly recommend it because it's to me just so fantastic, uh, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Last fragrance I'm gonna talk about is Bond Number no. 9 New York Nights. What I get is banana nut bread, but a banana nut bread that you could wear in the summer somehow because it's got a little bit of a fresher quality. So it'd be like if you're, you're eating banana nut bread beside the sea and you can smell the, the sea breeze, no like marine life or anything like that, but just really fresh air mixed with banana bread, nut bread. It's got to have nuts in it for whatever reason. 
Uh, that's what I get out of this and I absolutely love this one. It's so cozy and yet it's a fragrance that you can wear all year round. Works no matter what the weather situation is. So this is a great fragrance, especially for people that live in warmer climates that want something that's warm and cozy, but they don't want to get just choked right out. Like some of the fragrances that I really like and would wear in spring and summer, other people absolutely could not do it because it would be just so thick. This one is a fragrance that I think you could get away with all year round. I think it works. So if you're like wanting a cozy fragrance in the middle of the summer, you could pull this one out and it's not going to kill you. I love this fragrance. I think it's really versatile. It's fun to me. I love the bottle. Um, would I repurchase? I'm kind of undecided. I think I would repurchase this one because I just think it's so fun and I really, really am addicted to the smell of this one. So for now, I'd repurchase it. We'll talk when I've used this as much as I've used something like this, whether I'd repurchase or not. So that is it. What about you? What are the fragrances that you love but you would not repurchase again? Leave it in the comments. I would love to know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.